What's up guys, welcome to HB Monday Night Doors. And today, we'll be putting together my go-kart. This is a yellow jacket go-kart. It's basically a horn gun. It has a bunch of leaves and um, stuff, a bunch of stuff on it. And this channel, really all it's gonna be now, and it's gonna go raining, it decided to rain when I started filming. But this is Yellow yeah, Jack Go Kart, and this channel is gonna be probably be end up being a go kart channel, be like stuff like that. Cause I've been kind of really lost interest in riding much. I mean, I still have my Honda Ranch and the fun. I'll always keep it. I don't, I don't ride as much as I used to. But yeah, we'll get into it. So first thing, these are your spindles and your lock nuts and everything, and. We're going to go ahead and put the front tires on. And all they are is just some Kenda cheap tires, basically. They're good tires and good off road tires. You always have your washers. So when your barrier gets to go up, don't start tightening up that nut and seize up your wheel because that's what happens. Make sure your bearings are good. That bearing's good. So make sure always the mesh side right there is always pointing out so it can lock on. And tighten them for right now, then we'll all go back and tighten our bolts. There's that. Here's the bearing. to the back. Yeah. 
this one too tight. Make sure it's seated in that bear. Like sand nuts, they'll, they'll, they'll wiggle loose over time, but a lock nut, once you lock it, it's good. And I would prefer just putting C, like an, any C, anti C's or something, or lock tight or something. If you, have, if you have standard bolts, like with not lock nut, with not a, it's not a lock nut, I would recommend putting lock tight. Or if you have lock nuts, I would recommend putting an, an, anti C's. A little tip for me. And now we will be putting on our pedals. Okay. All right, so we have our pedal right here. That's the gas pedal. This is the brake pedal. Make sure these have washers too. Two bolts for it right now, but I will definitely get two more. So, 
like it all. And I would prefer using grade 8 bolts just for that extra security. Alright, so for the most part, we got our go kart built, assembled, and everything. Now we will pop the master link on our chain, which would be located right there. You can easily do it with a screwdriver, hammer, or any type of pliers, vice grips, anything like that. So if it's like this, you can't just stick it, don't pop out your master link. So we'll pop our master link in. Pliers squeeze them together. Put our master link on. Hook up a throttle cable. And that should be the uh, go kart. So now we get our pair of pliers, vice grips, needle nose. Anything that you have laying around will work. Alright, we'll squeeze. Or need another spot. Now we have 
I tighten up my motor. Tighten up the motor and tighten up the chain. Make sure your chain and clutch is aligned. Because if you have it offline, if you have it offline, it might pop the uh, chain off a bunch. You don't want that when you're trail riding. Just a little, uh, just a give a little advice. Okay, so I will go from top. Okay, we'll put our, we'll put all this on, tighten it up. subscribe and turn on your post notifications and if anybody out there wants to sponsor me hit me up on instagram at holden baggett and hit me up and go follow my tiktok at holden baggett and yeah and catch you on the next one